So next we're going to do a Bach classic. This is Toccata and Fugue in D minor. And a couple of things you need to know about this one is the D harmonic minor scale and the C sharp diminished scale. So let's look at the D harmonic minor. We're just going to do it in three different positions, three different octaves, and we're only going to do six notes of it. So let's look at this D position. <laughs> Add this note that that makes it the harmonic minor because we've taken the seventh scale degree and we've raised it a half step so that makes it harmonic minor okay so we're going to bring that up an octave let's go to the D at the 12th fret fourth string Let's go one more octave to the D at the 15th fret 2nd string. So now let's look at the diminished scale. And every scale degree is one minor third away from the last scale degree. So it's all just three frets apart. We could just run the scale linear. As long as we go three frets, it, then we're still in the diminished scale. And any of those notes could name the scale. We're going to call it a C sharp diminished because that's where our note comes from when we are playing the, the harmonic minor scale. That's, that's the note that we're going to base the scale off of. Because what the diminished scale does, it almost always resolves a half step up or a whole step down. So listen to this. See that resolve down to D? Or... So, a half step up or a whole step down. And this is a, a very helpful if you ever want to use it as a tool to modulate the song to another key. Works best in minor keys. But for now, let's just look at it here on the fourth fret. And it just kind of walks up like a spider up the, up the neck. Let's do that again, and this time, let's take it on up the first string all the way up to our highest C sharp. And we could bend that a half step to resolve, or just go. So those are your two biggest tools for this uh, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Now I'm just going to demonstrate this and we're not using the click track for this song just because it is so loose. There's only a few parts where there's a real well established rhythm for this song. The rest of it you just kind of feel it and it's kind of a rubato kind of feel. So we're in drop D. Let's check that out. <laughs> So if you don't know how to drop D, what I do is I just pluck my D string, the fourth string, and my E string, drop that E string down to where it sounds like it's an octave lower. Another thing you can do is match your seventh fret of the fifth string to the fifth fret uh, fifth string open. Or you can just use a tuner, drop that down to D. So here we go, Toccata and Fugue. I'm going to start at this highest octave. Drop it down an octave. Drop it down 
one more octave. <laughs> At that point, I like to trill it right there, just to give it a little more personality. Then I'm going to run a diminished scale here. Now this is a little different. I'm going to swap fingers. That leads me into a D suspended four, suspended two. D minor scale linear here. Come up an octave to my seventh fret D here, do the same thing. Diminished scale. C sharp, this time a D power chord. You could make that minor. I want to go back to the major on that one. Now this is a really cool part right here. I'm going to use this hand to mute my surrounding strings while I kind of pluck the fifth string open. I'm going to pluck that once and then hammer on everything else. Hammer on and pull off. So. And that is like a sequenced pattern working up my D minor scale to the minor sixth of that scale. Now I'm going to sequence it back down. I need to do that again an octave higher. I don't have another open A string any higher, but I do have a G on the third string, and I can come to the second fret and just hold that with this hand. I want to hammer that kind of hard to give it the sound. I'll come up to the seventh fret D here, do that same sequenced pattern. That's walking down the natural minor scale. So I'm barring those, making the power chord down. Do it again. Now, sequence pattern for my diminished scale again. This time I'm going to. As long as you feel it, hit a big D power chord. And those are all the parts to it. So now let me try to play that all the way through with, uh, w without hesitation. And I may put a few of my own personal flares in there just for, for style. So here we go.